Hey everyone, it's Jason here with Horology Middle East and today I'm going to talk to you about the Mont Blanc 1858 manual small seconds. But before we talk about the watch, I want to talk to you a little bit about the 1858 collection because I'm not sure that everyone's too familiar with it. So Mont Blanc introduced the 1858 collection back in 2015 and the whole idea behind this collection was that, uh, or at least the name, is that you know it pays a bit of tribute to Minerva manufacture. Minerva was a Swiss brand that was founded in 1858 and they were very reputed for their watches as well as for their calibers. What happened was in 2006, uh, Richmond Group actually acquired Minerva and the idea behind that was so that they could provide movements for uh, some of Mont Blanc's watches, mostly their high-end watches. So, you know, nowadays uh, you won't see Minerva branded watches, you'll just see uh, Mont Blanc watches with Minerva calibers. So I think it's kind of cool that uh, Mont Blanc is uh, paying a little bit of tribute to Minerva by naming the entire collection 1858, uh, despite the fact that not all the watches within that collection will have Minerva calibers. So when this uh, collection premiered last year, it actually had uh, both limited edition references and standard references to go. The headline piece was a, a, a monopusher chronograph and that had a caliber from Minerva. I think the steel reference price was about $20,000. There was also a gold reference. And um, the other, the second uh, limited edition watch looked exactly like this one. Um, that had a black dial and it had um, the Arabic numerals uh, finished in a kind of vintage uh, patina style. The watch that you see in front of you, however, is a standard, uh, it is basically part of the standard collection and it was inspired by a Minerva pilot chronograph from the 1930s. Now because Mont Blanc took inspiration from a pilot watch, you'll see some pilot watch traits despite the fact that this is not actually a pilot watch. So the first thing you'll notice is, you know, you've got this beautiful, clean, open, highly legible dial, which is something you'd, uh, that you'd see on uh, pilot watches. You know, it's always the case that these watches have super legible dials. The other thing you'll notice is it's fairly large case size. So this one is 44 millimeters in diameter. And another kind of uh, pilot watch trait that you'll find is here on the, the crown. It's beautiful to look at. It's a half onion crown, uh, which is, you know, again, something uh, on pilot watches that you'll find um, full size uh, onion crowns or oversized crowns in general. And the idea behind those is that you can easily manipulate the crown even if you have gloves on. So in this case, you've got a half onion crown, and I think it, it uh, you know, it, it's beautiful. It looks, uh, you know, it looks really good. It's very well done. And in relation to the proportions of the case, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's perfectly matched. So Mont Blanc has done a uh, good job there. The watch case as well, um, it's about 11 millimeters thick. So, you know, if you wanted to wear this watch every day and you wear more formals, um, you won't have any trouble getting this under a long sleeve shirt. You know, it'll just uh, glide under without too much of trouble. The watch has a stainless steel case. This is a three-part case, uh, which is pretty standard. You've got a high-polished bezel. The top and bottom of the main case, like you can see it on top of the, uh, on the top and bottom of the lugs. Again, you have high polish there. And the side of the main case, basically this whole part, um, that's all satin finished. And you have a sapphire crystal case back and this bit here, the only circumference, this is all high polish again. We'll come back to the movement in a little bit, so let me just uh, finish with the dial first. So let me just give this a clean a little bit. So you've got, uh, as I said earlier, this uh, super legible, beautiful dial. Arabic numerals on the chapter ring, as well as a minute track. You've got a running seconds counter at 6 o'clock, and you've got a bit of Mont Blanc branding here under the 12 o'clock position. There's actually a little bit of a small mountain between the T and the B. Very easy to read the time on this watch. You've got these um, skillet style hands. The uh, minute hand, in fact, reaches out almost all the way to the uh, minute track. So, you know, again, uh, super easy to read. You know, you can just uh, take a quick peek and you'll instantly know what time it is. The dial is very balanced. You know, you've got these two elements at the 12 and 6 position. And uh, there's no date window spoiling the balance of the dial. You know, it's a very clean, beautiful dial to look at. One of the best things, of course, is the uh, color of the dial. So you have this deep blue finish, and it's a sunburst dial. 
and uh, you know we have a lot of light in Dubai and I've been walking around with this watch for the last few days and I have to tell you it's just gorgeous to look at you know whenever the sun uh, or any light really catches uh, this dial it just looks uh, it just looks fantastic I'm just gonna move the watch ever so slightly now so you can see what I'm talking about you know it just loves to play with light and um, it's really really attractive I've, I've been out with friends and colleagues and the minute they've seen this watch you know they've asked if they could have a closer look at it the nice thing is as well uh, when the light is a little bit darker you know if you or even in certain angles the dial actually looks completely black so it's almost like you're getting two dials for the price of one like if you can see it here it's a little bit black not completely because there's still quite a bit of light but um, yeah if you look at it in certain lights it goes completely black so uh, that uh, I thought was pretty cool so it's a uh, it's you know I think they've done a fantastic job in terms of the uh, overall design and uh, look of this uh, dial it's just very attractive to look at uh, super legible in terms of um, loom you have loom in all the Arabic numerals as well as on the hour and minute hands it's not the brightest loom in the world uh, and it will last for about 15 or 20 minutes so you know you will have some you will still be able to see the time for a little bit after the lights have uh, gone out or if you've gone into a dark uh, dark area so let me just talk a little bit now about the uh, caliber as well give it a wipe first so you know although this is uh, like I said earlier although this is an 1858 uh, you know the name of the co collection is 1858 and uh, that pays tribute to Minerva manufacturer the founding year of Minerva not every watch within this collection will have a Minerva caliber and you know this is one of them so Montblanc has called this caliber the MB 23.03 but it's not actually an in-house caliber it's uh, actually a Ut Unitas ETA caliber and the reference is 6498 the 6498 came came out in about uh, I think the 50s and that was actually designed to be a pocket watch caliber when it first came out and you can kind of get a sense of that when you look at this caliber through this uh, sapphire case pack. Is the pocket watch calibers are generally very, uh, you know, uh, they're large, so that's uh, that's why you can kind of see that this caliber fills up the entire case, which is great. But they're also very kind of easy to understand. You know, the gear train and there's only three bridges. It's uh, it's all very logical if you if you want to learn how watch works. You know, you take apart a pocket watch caliber, you take out the bridges, and you can see how it all works. So, um, the nice thing is that uh, this caliber, you know, despite the fact that it was never designed to be a high-end caliber to show off high-end finishing, Mont Blanc has done a little bit of work on it and kind of made it their own in that respect. So you'll find Geneva stripes on all three bridges. You'll also find uh, blued screws, fairly large, uh, around the, you know, around the entire caliber. You also have countersinks around the uh, synthetic sapphires. And even the uh, the crown wheel and the uh, ratchet wheel, you'll find uh, sunray finishing. So, you know, Montblanc has put a bit of, bit of effort into that. What you won't find, um, if you look at the bridge edges, are chamfering or beveling. So they have pretty much straight angles. And, you know, normally that would uh, be a red flag for me, but uh, considering the fact that this is a caliber that's designed to just be very reliable and very accurate and one of the reasons it's uh, it's so reliable is because it has an Inca block shock protection system as well but yeah coming back to what I was saying earlier um, the lack of chamfering and beveling doesn't bother me too much because of the uh, type of caliber this is but also if you consider that this watch costs $3,500 uh, you know there are certain things that you wouldn't wouldn't expect to find and chamfering and bevel edges are among the things that I would not expect to find, especially considering the fact that Mont Blanc has gone ahead and given the rest of the caliber a pretty reasonable finish. You know, you can look at this caliber and you can still, uh, there's still a lot to enjoy. You know, it's um, it's no, by no means unattractive. And the nice thing is being a pocket watch, you know, it just feels great. Uh, being a pocket watch caliber, um, the Mont Blanc hasn't changed much really, but uh, it just feels great to use the crown. You know, you can see all the you can see the the gears turning and it's it provides great feel so it's a very enjoyable watch to use and um, I think yeah again Mont Blanc has done a pretty good job considering the price so let me just uh, put this watch on oh actually I forgot, before I go ahead and tell you that so this is a 3 hertz caliber 
uh, beats at 3 hertz and it's manually manually wound as you can see and uh, when it's fully wound you get about 46 hours of power reserve 46 hours is pretty reasonable but you know I hope at some point that uh, 72 hours becomes the norm because um, what that will mean is that you can take assuming your watch was wound up reasonably well uh, or almost full on uh, you know the last day before the weekend you could leave the watch unwound um, the whole weekend come back the next day for work assuming you have a two-day weekend and you'll still have some power reserve left in it you know so you won't have to keep uh, adjusting the time or anything but that's again it's a minor quibble 46 hours 48 hours is kind of the norm uh, that you find for most watch brands these days and most ca most calibers you know even even at uh, double or triple the price so again uh, I think it's fair enough so let me just put the watch on very quickly now and show you how it looks. Just give me a minute. So, here we go. There's the watch on the wrist. Give it a wipe very quickly. So as I said earlier, it's a 44 millimeter case and you know, whereas some watches don't wear as big or small as they might suggest the size much is this I think this watch wears exactly like a 44 millimeter you know uh, I can just about pull it off on my 7.2 inch wrist and the way I can kind of tell that it's okay is if I look at the straps from this angle I can see the straps just ever so slightly sticking out on both the top and the bottom and that kind of tells me it's okay you know if a watch is too big for my wrist um, what you'll find if especially if they've got lugs that are designed like this because the lugs will extend out a little bit, you'll find that the strap is out on the top, but at the bottom it sinks in, and that always looks a little bit odd. But in this case, I think you can just about pull it off. You can just about see the you know uh, the curve of uh, the curve of outside. So that's what I'm talking about basically. Um, it's super comfortable to wear. This strap is made by Mont Blanc itself. It's a beautiful uh, deep blue again to match perfectly with that uh, stunning dial. You've got this nice white uh, contrast stitching, and uh, the nice thing is you also get a, uh, a standard pin buckle, you know, uh, which I think suits the character of this watch. While I know that some people prefer deploy-in clasps because it's um, easier to put the watch on and take it off, I think uh, a pin buckle is more in line with the overall character and look of this watch. So overall, I think Montblanc's done a fantastic job with this piece. You know, um, you get a lot of bang for your buck. And if you're thinking about getting into Mont Blanc for the first time in terms of their watches, I think this is the, probably the best piece to kind of get entry into the brand with. They have a lot of watches around $3,500 as well as lower than $3,500. But I think honestly, if you want to watch that um, will keep you interested and keep you kind of um, coming back to the brand, I think this is uh, this is the perfect watch to start off your uh, Mont Blanc Germany, uh, journey. Uh, this is a leather strap, so you can also get this on a uh, stainless steel mesh bracelet. Uh, I kind of prefer the strap because I think the bracelet is a little bit out of character with the rest of the watch. You know, it, it just looks a little imbalanced when you have um, a kind of vintage-looking watch and then you have um, a mesh bracelet, which I tend to see. I tend to think of mesh bracelets as better suited towards diving watches and you know watches that are designed for um, sports. So this is more of a I wouldn't say dress watch because it's too big for that, but it's more classically inclined. Um, so I think you're better off with the, the leather strap on this one. Uh, you know, it's still fairly hot in Dubai at the moment, and while I normally prefer uh, bracelets in summer to kind of prevent my hands from sweating too much and feeling a little bit sticky, this strap is actually very comfortable. I've had no complaints wearing it for the last week or so. Um, so that was a bit of a surprise. The strap, of course, is made by Mont Blanc itself. The one thing that I've noticed with this watch is because of the uh, design of the crown, you know, it's shaped a little bit like uh, like gears, like a gear rather. If you wear the watch very close to the back of your wrist and you do that, you'll find the crown will dig in slightly into the back of your wrist. It's not painful or discomforting at all. It's just something that I noticed. And, you know, it's a, uh, it's a super easy fix. You just move the watch a little bit further away from the back of your wrist. So that's about the only thing that... Um, um, that's about the only thing that I noticed and of course if you have slightly smaller wrists you know I would say try and wear this watch for as uh, much as possible in the boutique so you get a proper feel for its size 
as I said, I think I can just about pull off this watch. So that's about it in terms of this review. If you have any questions or comments, you know, just drop me a note down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you found this video useful, please do like and share it. And as always, please do subscribe to the channel so you get an update uh, you know, uh, when I put up the next video. That's about it for me, guys. Thanks a lot for watching.